What's happening folks? Andy here again. Um, this is officially my first vlog video without the introduction being counted. Woohoo! So, I, in my first video I basically was asking for topics and subjects from people to, in order to discuss things. I had a few suggestions by a few of my, few of my personal friends and also people who just simply commented on the video and basically I have pretty much the topics in which will be talked about today. Okay so basically from the last video I kind of drifted off a wee bit in it and began discussing the Yu-Gi-Oh trading card game and one of my friends Naz has said to me to do a little more on it. Um, so she didn't give me any specifics on it but basically I'm just going to simply discuss just my ideas on it and why I like the game and so on. So basically the reason I play the Yu-Gi-Oh game is because yeah okay it's classed as a kids game and all but at the same time as that it's I've been kind of known to be sitting about the house on the computer nearly all day um, however, when you play the Yu-Gi-Oh game, you, it's played with a lot more than one person and it's not like an internet game where you can play it multiplayer while still being in the house on your own. You need to have someone else there to play a, a decent game of it. And also on top of that, it also builds, it can also build, uh, it can build teamwork in the double matches or just simply friendships from having just friendly games with people wherever you are, whether it's a games club or whether it's just hanging out with your friends and playing it. The other reason I also like playing the Yu-Gi-Oh game is also just purely because it is a fun game. Uh, the only downside to it I have to say though is that because it's a, it's a collector's game, because uh, it's a collector's, it's like a trading card game which is collector's as well. So it will be expensive. Um, if you're really wanting to get into it that far, you would be spending quite a bit of money on the cards. If you're not just buying one single deck and that's it, that's all you're getting. Uh, you will need a lot of cards for it. But at the same time, if you really are interested in the game, such as myself and, and quite a number of people I know, um, then yeah, that should be fine. Uh, assuming you're not just kind of scrounging the money off your parents or your brother or your sister to get them all. Uh, if you've actually, if you're old enough to actually have a job, then if you've got a job and you're paying a little bit of the money from the money that you earn from the job, then yeah, that's pretty easy done because it is also worth it if you're interested in it anyway. So yeah, another topic that I was asked to discuss. Uh, again by Naz actually, um, was the psychological effects of websites such as Facebook and YouTube, um, simply just profile sites. I'm not exactly 100% sure how to go around that one, but if I were to take a guess at it, I would probably say it's just because it's in the same aspect as MSN and Instant Messengers that Basically, it's just to do with the fact that you can keep in touch with your friends anytime and you can get up to date information on them. Um, most people tend to post up their most exciting or their most popular activities, such as parties or winning some event or something like that, basically. Um, yeah, I know I say basically a lot. Um, yeah, so anyway. So, pretty much, the profile sites, they tend to get addictive that way. Um, purely because a lot of people about, man, I can't even, I can't even count them. A lot, millions, um, use these sites to post up that stuff and then they tend to gossip about it and talk about it and tell other people about it uh, most of the people I'm going to guess they probably don't know very well in reality 
but on Facebook everyone is everyone's friend so why not so well basically that's it for today then um, sorry to cut this one so short with only the two of them however next time I have I still have some more ideas from after the last video so I'll put up some of them I'll give a few more shout outs uh, I also had two shout outs requested to me for this video uh, one of them is to uh, Natalie Ibrahimi and an al also uh, Pauline Dugan so how's it going to both of you and be sure to comment and rate and also if you can hit the subscribe button just up round about there and feel free to comment down there and also um, comment question I want you to basically tell me why exactly you think that Facebook and Bebo and websites such as those are so popular and why people use them so much and I shall see you after